Okay, so welcome to part two of our one step inequalities. We worked on number line in part one, and in part two, we are going to work on solving. Okay, so here we have steps to solve. Our first step um, over here, and so make sure that that is written in your spiral to use for later reference. Number one, we have x plus six is less than or equal to seven. Our first step is to draw a line. Um, through the inequality symbol. We isolate the variable by completing the inverse operations on both sides of, in my direction, say equal sign, and that should say the inequality sign um, or symbol. So that is my mistake. Let's move on. It is adding six to the variable, so we are gonna subtract six on the variable, and we're gonna do that on both sides of the, of the inequality symbol. Okay, so then 6 minus 6 is 0, and x plus 0 is just x. And so we're going to write our inequality, which is less than or equal to, and 7 minus 6 is 1. I'm going to rewrite my final inequality and box my answer. So because it's or equal to, remember, or equal a closed circle, and less than or equal to is pointing to the left. So here I'm going to one, and it's a closed circle, and I'm highlighting to the left. Okay, so number two, again, we're gonna draw a line through the inequality symbol. We isolate the variable, so here it's x minus six, so we're gonna do the inverse operation, which is adding six to x instead of subtracting um, 5. I'm sorry, I'm saying five, 6, but it's 5. Negative 5 plus 5, if we're looking at a number line and we move um, 5 to the left from 0, and then we go back 5, we're back at 0. So we want negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Also, if they're different signs, you know that you're supposed to subtract, and 5 minus 5 is 0. So then we have just x here, and then 3 plus 5 is 8, less than or equal to. So here I have x, um, sorry, I have 8 is less than or equal to x. So our alligator is eating the x, and remember to, to write our number inequality on the number line, we want the variable on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna write my variable, and then now I need to write my inequality. My alligator's eating the x, so my alligator has to keep eating the x, so I flip my sign, and then eight. So now I know that I am looking at a closed circle at eight, and my inequality is now pointing to the right. So when I flip the sign, I flip, also switch the sides of the x and the 8. Next one, I draw my line down the inequality symbol, and I'm multiplying x by negative 3. So I want to do the inverse operation, which is dividing x by negative 3. Divide by negative 3 and divide by negative 3. So the moment that I divided by a negative, Remember, I need to flip. So I'm going to go ahead and flip so I don't forget. So the negative 3 divided by negative 3 just gives me 1 times x, which is x. And then negative 15 divided by a negative 3 is 5. Remember, we have our wheel to help us. If I'm dividing a negative 15 by a negative 3, then my answer is positive. So now my inequality symbol started at greater than or equal to, but it's going to end at x is less than or equal to 5. So we go over here. It's or equal to. Remember, or equal to means that it's a closed circle, and we are pointed to the left. We have one more. I want you to go ahead and try this one on your own and press play when you have finished. Okay, so here um, we have 
to add 9 on both sides, and when we do that, we get x is greater than 4. Now, if we have a negative 5 and a positive 9, those are different signs, so therefore we subtract. When we subtract 9 minus 4, we get, I mean, sorry, 9 minus 5, we get 4. And then we look at absolute value to determine whether that's a positive 4 or a negative 4. Negative 5's absolute value is 5. That means its distance from 0 is 5. And 9's distance from 0 is 9. Therefore, 9 wins. 9 is positive. Therefore, our answer is positive. This is just less than. So we have an open circle and our inequality symbols pointing to the right. And that is all. Please make sure you ask questions if you have any.